815 on your Tuesday morning and for thousands of Arizona kids, the school year off to a very unusual start. No face to face learning, running around the playground, even eating lunch with everyone in the cafeteria, Tess. Yeah, so much has changed, Scotty. Schools across the state are having to find unique ways to still be able to get food to the kids who need it most. So Kylie is showing us how the Apache Junction School District is still getting meals to kids in need. In Apache Junction, the big yellow school buses are sitting in the bus barn. This school year, they have a new purpose. And we're just trying to make a, a bad situation better. Like clockwork, every morning around 6.30, the drivers start their journey. But instead of welcoming kids, morning, how are ya? they're loading up lunch for hundreds of families. Joseph Price III and Kira Gilberg hop on board. We're going to our first stop as we speak. In all, they hit five stops each weekday. We had so many parents that said we just don't have transportation to get to the schools. So we came up with doing the transportation alongside with buses to get out to bus stops so kids can walk up and get their, their food. At each stop, they pass out breakfast, lunch, plus fruits and veggies. They're excited to see us. They, they are thrilled that when they get to see somebody that they knew from their cafeteria. Seven-year-old Skylar. Got some chocolate milk comes every day with her grandma. Me and my sister like the food and my grandma doesn't have to cook all the time and we don't have to spend money. It's a big help. They don't always like everything, but most of the time they do. And then I can always got a little variety, you know? So it's, it makes it easier for me. The district isn't just relying on buses. They also put together a special curbside program where families can come and pick up a week's worth of meals. Two half and half, please. On Mondays, cars line up at two schools in Apache Junction. Thank you. Have a good day. Where they load up on lunches. In all, the district's curbside program feeds about 125 to 200 kids including Stacy McKinney's two boys. Brings about, you know, less stress for my kids and for myself. And there's already so much change to the school year and how it ended last year to this year. And now, Stacy and other parents don't have to fret about what's for lunch. Instead, they can focus on helping their kids navigate online school. It's already planned out for me. So it's just nice to, to sit there and ask my boys, hey, what do you want for lunch today? Here's your choices. Back on the bus, Joseph and Kira finish their rounds. They'll be at it again tomorrow. A lot of people don't think that we're essential workers, but we're just as an essential worker as anybody else. Every day, their compassion and creativity on full display as this bus delivers food all over Apache Junction. So we're all doing a little bit of di different jobs just to stay busy and, and to stay we're in our community. We're looking, we're wanting to build our community and make it stronger together. I'm Kylie Cruz for Arizona's Family.